But first, a devastating discovery. Urban explorers in Flint stumble on stockpiles of bottled water in an abandoned school. And now they want to know how the good faith donations of others could go to such waste when the need is still so strong. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel is in Flint right now near the old St. Agnes Church off Pearson Road with more. There's rooms upon rooms in this building of nothing but full rooms of cases of water, gallons of water. Jimmy Cowell and his fiance Kira discovered these images this past weekend inside an abandoned school building on the grounds of the shuttered St. Agnes Church. Dozens of cases, dozens of gallons of full water just rotten here. First couple rooms were empty and then we heard water running so we ventured towards the water running, found one room stockpiled full of water. It was from floor to ceiling, wall to wall. The two made the stockpile discovery while urban exploring saying they enjoy seeing and taking pictures of the forgotten buildings in Flint. We take photos and leave footprints. We don't we don't vandalize. If anybody's wondering where the, all the money and all the water for the Flint distribution went. What they found, they say, feels like a slap in the face. Roughly four years removed from the start of the Flint water crisis, its impact still evident. If I shower for more than 10 to 15 minutes, it smells like I'm swimming in a freshly chlorinated pool. It hits home a little bit. They're saying that they're out of water, yet there's a good three to four semi truck loads of water just sitting here rotting for the last three years at least that we know of. So how did the water get here and who's responsible? Social media posts from January of 2016 show a donation delivery campaign by two radio stations right in front of the now empty school. This is the number for the listed property owner. The number you have reached has been disconnected. And a door knock at the church came up empty. The city says it has nothing to do with the water and never used the site. Regardless, many in Flint still desperate. Probably 30 people since I made the post yesterday asking me where the water is so they can go get some. I've had to tell them they do not want it. They're probably just as well off drinking the faucet water. Sitting where it is, it's in a stagnant area. It's pretty moldy and nasty in there with the fecal matter and all the other molds. Now we also reached out to that Grand Rapids fecal based radio station that delivered the water bottles to see who they were working with when they made the donation. We are yet to hear back from an organizer. Reporting in Flint, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. Hope some of that water can be saved too. Thank you so much, Brian.